It's the tallest, biggest building in North Korea, but it's still completely unfinished. Guys, today we're going to be talking about the Ru Young Hotel, located in Pyongyang, North Korea. The construction originally began all the way back in 1987, but was halted in 1992 as North Korea entered a period of economic crisis after the fall of the Soviet Union. After 1992, the building stood topped out, but without any windows or interior fittings. In 2008, construction resumed. So think about that for a second. They halted construction after the entire building had been built in 1992, and you can see images of it. That's exactly how it looked from 1992 to 2008. This is by far the tallest building in the city. You can't miss this. The capital city of North Korea. So people were going about their day pretty much every day from 1992 to 2008 looking at this unfinished monstrosity and then in 2008 construction officially resumed. The exterior ended up getting completed in 2011 so three years later and the hotel was planned to open in 2012 for a ceremony, a partial opening was announced for 2013, but this was canceled. And in 2018, an LED display was fitted on one side, which is used to show propaganda animations and film scenes. Now, credit to the North Koreans. I'll be honest, it does look pretty sweet when it is lit up. Now, as for the architecture behind this hotel, it is just above a thousand feet tall, making it the most prominent feature in Pyongyang's skyline, the tallest building in North Korea. Construction was intended to be completed in time for the 80th birthday of the General Secretary of Workers' Party in North Korea and President Kim II in 1992. If this had been achieved, it would have held the title for the world's tallest hotel before another building in China ended up usurping it. The building consists of three wings, each measuring at 100 meters or 330 feet long and around 59 feet wide. The building is topped by a cone some 130 feet wide, consisting of eight floors that are intended to rotate at the top, topped by a further six static floors. The structure was originally intended to house five revolving restaurants and either 3,000 or 7,000 guest rooms according to different sources. In 2009, it was reported that the massive hotel would not just be a hotel, but rather a mixed-use development, including the revolving restaurant at the top, along with a mixture of hotel accommodation, apartments, and building facilities. Now, when it comes to the construction of this massive structure... A plan for a large hotel was reportedly a Cold War response to the competition of the then world's tallest hotel located in Singapore. The construction did begin in 1986 but was halted six years later in 1992 after the building had reached its full architectural height due to an economic crisis following the collapse of the Soviet Union. Japanese newspapers estimated the cost of construction was $750 million. That's back in 1990. This is well over a billion dollar project at this point, and it's not even complete. The unfinished building sat vacant without windows, fixtures, or fitting, appearing as a massive concrete shell over the capital city of North Korea for almost two decades. A rusting construction crane remained at the top for all of those years. So there was a crane at the top of it. They halted their construction in 1992 because they ran out of the money because of the collapse of the Soviet Union. And the crane stayed up there all the way until 2008. The building was inspected in the late 1990s after several years of it being abandoned. And it was concluded that the structure was irreparable. Questions were raised regarding the quality of the building's concrete and the alignment of its elevator shafts, which some sources said were crooked. In a 2006 article, ABC News questioned whether North Korea had sufficient raw materials or energy for such a massive project. A North Korean government official told the LA Times in 2008 that construction was not completed because North Korea, quote unquote, ran out of money, though mocked up images of the completed hotel had appeared on North Korean stamps during the initial construction period. 
The North Korea government ignored the building's existence during the construction hiatus, even though it dominated the Pyongyang skyline. The government manipulated official photographers in order to remove the unfinished structure from the skyline and exclude it from printed maps of Pyongyang. Oh my god, dude. This thing, they, they, because it looks so ugly when it was unfinished, it looks like a concrete shell of doom. That's what the nickname of this hotel is, the Hotel of Doom. When it was unfinished, dude, imagine this at night. There's actually a photo that I want to show of the building, this massive, just the way it's shaped, the pyramid shaped with the two little sides almost as like devil wings, the way it's shaped, you can see a photo of the night sky and the hotel is completely pitch black. It looks haunted, but you can just see the outline of it. And it is such a freaky photo from 1992 to 2008, North Korea, the government, they said it doesn't exist. It's the biggest building, the tallest building in the city by far. And it's just standing there as a concrete shell and they're just like, no, it's fine. Just remove it from, just, just, just Photoshop it out. This is crazy, man. And then in April of 2008, after 16 years of inactivity, work on the building was restarted by the Egyptian construction firm Oscom Group. The firm had entered into a $400 million deal with the North Korean government to build and run a cellular network said that their telecommunications deal was not directly related to the hotel work. In 2008, North Korean officials stated that the hotel would be completed by 2012. In July of 2011, it had reported that the exterior work was complete. Features that they had installed included exterior glass panels and telecommunication antennas. In September of 2012, photographs were taken and released showing the interior for the first time. There were a few fixtures or furnishings. The interior is a complete hollow shell. So they finished the exterior. North Korea ran out of money in 1992. It sat as just an ugly, weird-looking, massive hotel building, abandoned construction site, all the way until 2008, and then they hired a, an Egyptian construction firm around $400 million to finish the exterior with glass panels, but the interior is still a hollow shell because obviously the interior would cost a lot of money in terms of, you know, actually getting it ready for guests. In March of 2013, plans to open the hotel were suspended... There was a potential date to open the hotel in 2013, but it was suspended and they did not elaborate on the reasons for suspending the opening, but it is suggested that international tensions related to the 2013 North Korea nuclear tests, economic risks, and delays in construction probably played a part in the opening being delayed. In late 2016, there were indications of renewed activity and a report that a representative had visited North Korea in 2017 and 2018, there were signs of work at the site with access roads being constructed. In April of 2018, it was reported that a large LED display featuring the North Korean flag had been added to the top of the building. By May, the LED display had been added to one entire side of the structure, and there were reports that the building was being readied for occupation. By June of 2018, the LED display was showing animations and movie scenes. A year later, in June of 2019, there was new signage bearing the hotel's name and its logo over the main entrance, and there are some photos of... The LED, I'll be honest, it does look pretty nice with the LED stuff when it's lit up, but it is a massive structure, very strange design, and a lot of the interior of this hotel is still completely hollowed out at this point. Uh, because it would just cost, it would cost so much to finish the interior, they do not have the money. So they said, screw it, let's complete the exterior, because this is the biggest building in our city. I mean, it would kind of make sense to try and finish the thing. They end up finishing the exterior, but the interior hotel is not even close to being completed, with a lot of it being completely unoccupied at this time to this day. So that is the idea of the massive hotel located in North Korea's capital city and the current status of it. It's basically an LED display at this point. And, and I would imagine considering a lot of those rooms aren't occupied, the hotel is basically pitch black at night, probably very scary. Could you imagine 
anywhere from 1992 to 2008 going into that hotel at night and how freaky that would that would have been I mean that is a long period that is 16 years that the hotel sat completely dormant as basically the second tallest hotel in the entire world it was an unfinished construction site for 16 years in North Korea's capital city imagine somebody had a YouTube video on that I mean, that would be a spending a night in there. I mean, they'd get arrested because it's North Korea and it's probably trespassing, but it would be crazy. And then that, that is a crazy photo of fireworks being illuminated right from the unfinished version of it. That, that's like a cursed image right there. It's just so strange to see fireworks, you know, coming out from an unfinished build. I can't really explain it. It's just a weird photograph. In any event, they did decide to finish the exterior to make it look better. And now they've got the light show on the outside of it, but the interior is nowhere close to completion. Either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.